Hello viewers, Elements118 and it's time for another World of Warships video. I've told you before about uh, destroyers and about cruisers, it's time now for some battleship action. Now I only have one battleship in my port, the Wyoming, the tier 4 American battleship. And uh, let's get away, straight away, with some gameplay. Key things about battleships, they have very, very powerful armament and very, very strong armour and a lot of hit points, uh, but they're not very fast and they have a very, very long reload and turret traverse, similar basically to uh, your heavy tanks in World of Tanks. It looks like we've got into a tier 5 game. There are five tier fives, four tier fives rather, on the enemy team. There's a, a New York class battleship, a Furitaka class cruiser, a Murmansk class cruiser, and a Minikaze class destroyer. What I do find interesting, however, is that they have an aircraft carrier and we don't. That could be very uh, interesting indeed. Although we have more battleships. New Dawn is the map. Looks like it's going to be a domination mode game. Three points, A, B and C. Thousand points. First team to a thousand points is the winner. Looks like I'm going to be joining the battle late, as it is usually with the uh, the first game that I play when I log in. Come on. Oh, here we are. Right, full speed ahead. And I am going to go... I'm going to go down to the south since it looks like the majority of my team are going the other way. Yeah, you can really see the mobility difference between battleships and cruisers. It also takes a long time for the, the rudder to turn back to naught again. It took about four seconds, four or five seconds for it to do that. That's the real problem I find with uh, with these battleships. Well, better load armor piercing. I've been detected by that uh, fighter squadron over there. Again, I'm in a battleship. I'm in a very, very large ship. Therefore, I will get spotted at a much uh, shorter range, a uh, longer range rather, than uh, a cruiser or a destroyer would. Makes sense. Our team has taken the lead. That's good. Team has already captured point B, so we're starting to earn points. Slowly, but we're starting to earn points nonetheless. With the enemy team are capturing C. We're not going to be able to do anything about it. Probably some destroyers down there, which is bad news for me, because I'm in a battleship and destroyers do love battleships, because they're slow and they're very easy to hit with torpedoes. If I do run into destroyers, then uh, armor piercing shells are not the right shells to be using against destroyers because of their very thin armor. But just in case it's a cruiser, I'll keep the armor piercing loaded for now. A 
Battleship is just out of range. There's a lot of guns this. It gets six turrets and it gets two in each. That's twelve guns. He's in range now, so give a reasonable amount of lead. Shots away. That's so pretty good. Three hits. Not too bad. Not a great deal of damage, but I didn't expect that much damage. Wait for the reload. Here it comes. Shots away again. pretty good. Four hits. Mm, no damage though. Armor piercing shells are really quite unpredictable. You never know how much damage, if any, you're going to do. Especially if you're firing against battleships. Well, let's try again been detected again because I've just fired. Four hits. Critically damaged him. Again, not much damage, but some kind of critical damage. Probably a turret knocked out. Something like that. I'm going to switch fire now to this cruiser. Because I will more likely do more damage to him than I will to the battleship. He's moving faster, so we need to give bit more lead. Oh yes, a citadel penetration. Absolutely fantastic. Uh oh, we've got torpedo bombers coming in. I do not like the look of this. Come on, anti-aircraft guns, shoot some of them down. Oh, I'm already turning, which is good. I'm not going to be able to avoid all of them, but I'll be able to avoid some of them. So I'm going to take one torpedo. Get my rear guns firing on that. Turn the ship around. I don't want to stay around here too long. Good hit. Get the damage control ability away. And the damage repair ability going as well. Stop the flooding, extinguish the fire, get some of my health back. He's out of range. Problem solved, sir. Thank you. That. That is my problem right now. Come on, guns, turn. Turn around. There we are. We've only got two turrets, but better than nothing. And that wasn't bad, that hit. It looks like. Oh, I've been set on fire again. Don't forget, this has to be live, uh, live gameplay. Um, so I. I had no idea when I started what kind of games I was going to get. Doesn't look like this one is going to be a particularly good one. But again, I just wanted to show you some battleship gameplay, that's all. He misses. Absolutely excellent news. Fire is going to get fully extinguished fairly soon, which is good to know. This is my damage control ability, still has 40 seconds of cooldown left. Just the one hit that time. Fire is out. Two hits, 3000 damage. Turn the ship around still. You've got much more health than I have now. 
He's about to run into the map border, which is going to slow him down considerably. Oh dear, oh dear, this is not good. Load the high explosive. Secondary batteries are opening up. Turn away from the torpedoes. I uh, don't think it's going to work though. I'm gone. Yep. of advice for you. When you're in a battleship, don't let yourself get close to a destroyer. <laughs> because he will wreck you. And that's an end of it. So. That's some battleship gameplay for you. Key things about battleships. Good armament. Good armour. A lot of health. Very slow. That's all there is to know, really. There aren't any anomalies. Uh, or... I don't think there are an, any anomalies to that rule. And um, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you uh, know the basics about battleships now, even if I can't show it to you in a proper good battle. Um, and as always, viewers, good luck on the battlefield, and I'll see you next time.